Key Haley maintains there are dozens of states left to go, including a delegate rich Super Tuesday, not counting her sweet state as she calls it, South Carolina. Yet many right now are questioning just how long she can continue. Taylor Viles is reporting from a pretty quiet Haley headquarters in Concord. Taylor. Hey Lauren, well yeah, quiet because Haley stepped on stage at about 8.19 and she was off by about 8.45 and everyone started to file out about then, uh, but she entered to a raucous ovation here in Concord, New Hampshire. Uh, the primary race, of course, called for Donald Trump, but uh, the crowd tonight not loving that, but they were pretty feisty with applause for uh, for Nikki Haley in this uh, in this race. Now Nikki Haley excited, not backing down, and uh, it seems like she's taken a step. As we see it right now, it's currently 54 to 45 percent in favor of Trump. Now that's still within the margin of loss that Nikki Haley was hoping for, and that's with under 60 percent reporting. You can hear them chanting Nikki Haley. They were loving it tonight. Haley started by thanking her political supporters like New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu and former can candidate for Senate Don Bolduc. She also spoke about uh, how she loves being the last Republican standing with Donald Trump and she is continuing to move up. She uh, fights about everything and accomplishes nothing it is what she talks about Congress. Now we spoke with a couple supporters of Haley's and uh, we, here's what Nikki Haley said herself on the stage. Well, I have news for all of them. Woo! New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. She's in it to win it. We've got the next, next leg. We're going to South Carolina. She will be in this to the end because she is the Trump alternative. She's going to save America. The world's on fire. Nikki's got a playbook, and I want her to execute it. She's a conservative that appeals to conservative moderates and even some of the liberals. So, so, she, so it, I mean, she's someone who really could bring the country together. And that's what everyone's hoping for her to bring the country together. It's still an uphill battle for Nikki Haley, of course. Next, as you heard, she heads to South Carolina for the South Carolina primary in about a month. And uh, she's hoping in her home state that she's able to get her first primary win. But it's not going to be easy against Donald Trump. And of course, right after South Carolina, it is Super Tuesday. So we'll see how long Nikki Haley can stay in this race. But it seems she's not backing down. And her supporters I talked to said she's going to stick with it right until the bitter end. That's all for me reporting now from Concord, New Hampshire. I'm Taylor Viles.